Okay, guys, welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. Look, I just came back from Lowe's and I bought the Bio Advanced um, Insect Control. All right, I'm, I'm having a mosquito issue right now. You guys, you saw that video that I did about the um, Dino Trap. I'm gonna add some other stuff to try to help that. So check this out. Okay, you're for nice. Look, I know spring is coming and everybody's like, BYD, look, I gotta get this fertilizer down. You need to tell me what to do. I'm, I'm gonna make it brief, and this is not about the fertilizer. This is about the insect control. Guys, run to Lowe's right now and buy all the Sunnyland products that you can buy. Yes, they are sponsoring BYD. They're sponsoring this yard for the whole year. Did you hear me? For the whole year. So of course I'm gonna tell you to go out and get some Sunnyland. Listen, BYD does not promote uh, products that he does not believe in. Once it's BYD approved, it's BYD approved. All right, run out and get you some Sunnyland real quick, but this video is about the insect control. Let me show you what I got. Hey, you are for next. Before I get to the insect control, I'm just showing you what I'm gonna put in my yard in the order that most likely I'm gonna put it in. I'm not gonna elaborate on it. I'm just giving you a taste. So we got all that we got to put down and this with one, two, three, four, five. That's like five applications, maybe six uh, with the liquid application, but we'll talk about that in another video. But I just want to give you an idea of what's going on. Okay, you are for now. Look, it's around about 6.30 and this is what I went down. Let me show you the front of it, right? Guys, you know I like to use my front of my truck as a, a workbench. <laughs> but look, I went and got that Bio Advance complete insect killer hope you can see that all right and let me tell you why i went and got it it's a two-way formula protects your lawn front um from top to bottom now what they mean by that is this it kills okay guys it kills surface surface insects and the surface insects are basically your ants your uh, chinch bugs ticks and fleas now one of the main reasons i got this formula because it says it kills mosquitoes now, one thing I want you to understand, guys, when you read the back of the bag, I don't see anywhere where it says it kills mosquitoes, but on the front of the bag, it's saying that. So it kills mosquitoes, all right? But that's one of the reasons I got it because when I'm walking across my yard, I'm getting a lot of mosquitoes and stuff to come out of it. So I wanna try to get that stuff under control. I got the um, dino, dino traps going on, but I went ahead and got this. Now for soil insects, this formula works 90 days, three months. It's supposed to kill mole crickets. Um, some of you guys got grubs. Now, if you really have grubs, 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 and that's all you got, I would go with a formula specifically made for that. All right, but it also kills grubs and it kills European crane fly larvae, all right? Now, I hear a lot of people talking about they have crane flies. Now, one thing you will notice that this bag said it covers up to 20,000 square feet. Let me flip it over and show you what's going on. Show you something that, like I said, I always tell you guys to read the bag. Read the bag. Now, down here it says, okay, right there. It, it, this is what it kills. Ants, uh, fleas, ticks, including deer ticks, white grubs, chinch bugs, mole crickets, European crane fly, larvae, and other listed pests. Now on the front, you did see mosquitoes, but it doesn't list it on the back. I don't know why. But right here it says covers up to 20,000 square feet if you are only focusing in on ants, fleas, and ticks. Okay, it only covers up to 10,000 square feet if you're trying to kill these other um, listed pests, which was like the crane fly, the larvae, the um, grubs, the... Um, uh, mosquitoes um, and a few more but this is what I'm talking about when you don't read the um, product label and you put down 20 this uh, put this on 20,000 square feet and you, you have uh, mosquitoes and you're wondering why it's not working that's because you, you basically diluted it you can put this on your lawn ground covers flower beds around trees shrubs and around the home uh, what else we got here surface pets whenever insects are present um, white grubs may through Ju through july so come around may june july that's when you they that's when those bugs the white grubs basically come out and for um, the crane fly apply once when adult insects are present 
in large numbers. Now, I, I wouldn't wait for that, you know. Guys, if you got any questions about this, make sure you call that number, 1-877-229-3724. They will answer any question that you have. Another thing I want to show you about this bag. I hear a lot of people saying that it did not work, and I tell them to go get their money back. A lot of them don't know how to do it. Read this carefully, money back guarantee. If you are not satisfied with this product, we will gladly refund your original purchase price. Keep your receipt. Now, I make all my purchases um, on my phone through the apps, all the snaps. So I, I have always have electronic receipts. Those paper receipts, man, you, you tend to lose them. All right, so make all your transactions electronically. That way you can keep it on your Plenty phone. Of things that you can use this for, you can use it as a ant mound killer, and it'll basically tell you how much to apply, one or two teaspoons per mound or wasp borrow. Um, generally, this product you apply over your entire lawn with a rotary spreader right there. You see it right there. You can use a drop spreader, but I would use a rotary spreader. Uh, for faster application. Uh, generally, they want you to apply it to a dry lawn and you need to wait at least 24 hours before you water it in. Now, I'm applying it now because it's supposed to rain tomorrow, light showers, so it'll get rained in tomorrow. But um, another thing, I gotta show you this too. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It's probably at the bottom. That's where they keep that information nobody reads. Um, right there. This pesticide is toxic to fish. All right, in other words, don't, you apply this near a lake and if you have run off into the lake, that's how you end up killing the fish in that lake, guys. So it, it's, it's one of them situations where you got to be careful on how you apply this. Product. Okay, Yara Finax, another thing too is this product is not pet friendly. And what I mean by that is this, you cannot put this on your lawn and then the next thing you know, your dog's out there playing on it. When you apply this formula to your lawn, it needs to be watered in and then it has to dry completely before you allow pets to play on the, the lawn. I either go out, use the bathroom, whatever it is. So if you got a section on your lawn that they got to the urinate on, you might want to do split applications and just let them use the bathroom one week on one side and next week on the other side. But you can't allow them to go out and get that stuff on their feet because, you know, dogs like to lick their feet and all that stuff. Cats, uh, pet turtles, whatever you got, guys. But you cannot allow your pets to, to play on it as soon as you put this application down. The awesome thing, too, is that you can use your Scott's Deluxe Guards um, rotary spreader. And that go to settings. They got two or three different languages down there. But if you're going to put apply one pound per 1,000 square feet, Scott's Deluxe Edge, Edge Guard 3, um, 2 pounds, 3.75, uh, 3 pounds, 4.5, all right? And it says distance between each pass should be about 8 feet using that particular spreader. And that's from side to side, guys. You should not have any gaps in the application. The other thing that we is to make a, uh, a border pass. And, guys, we, we've done this in the past. You know what a border pass is, where you do the outskirts of the lawn first and then you come back and do the middle part either either you're going to go back and forth back and forth and i think this one wants you to do the border pass then they want you to go back and forth back and forth to apply um that's the best way that they want you to do it now people do it their own kind their own different ways but if you stick to what you read you should not have a, a issue applying it and an issue with it working um, a lot of times, I, I just, it frustrates me when I hear people say that it didn't work, but they're not telling me the whole truth. They didn't apply according to the rate that's on the bag, and it's, I mean, it's I'm not going to say it's not impossible, but you should be getting some kind of kill. I had a guy tell me, hey, BYD, I put that product down, and it, it, it didn't work, man. And then I come to find out he sprayed 20,000 square feet of lawn, excuse me, 25,000 square feet of lawn with a product that says it only covers 8,000 square feet. Of course, it's not going to work. All right. So you got to know your square footage. What is square footage? Square footage is width times length equals your square footage. All right. And it, there should be a video right up there at the top. Click on that. It's, it's pretty boring and long, but it's going to show you. The basics of, of how to get the square footage on your lawn. 
you got to know how to get that square footage, guys. That's the only way that you can apply it properly for it to be most effective. And like I said, we got the, uh, the Scott's Deluxe Edge Guard. You see it right there. You see that? Deluxe Edge Guard. We got that in the house. And we also got the homeowner professional level Lesco spreader. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the Scott's Deluxe Turf Guard because that's what most of you guys have that that i did a video on on that joker right there man and i got that right during um the off season for how much i paid for it guys i think it was like 30 bucks normally 60 dollars now the let's go spreader there ain't no sale price on that i paid almost 400 dollars for that joker right there but the let's go spreader is way better but for the average homeowner your best bet is to get a Scott's Turf Builder Spreader because regardless of what fertilizer product that you're buying, more than likely it's going to have Scott's Turf or well, Scott's Spreader on the back, period. Vigor Grow and all these other off-brands, you're going to have a hard time finding a product that basically has that on there, except for the Vigor Grow itself. But Scott's Spreader... You, you really can't go wrong when you buy that now. People say that they, you know, they're raggedy. They have problems with it. I've been using the crap out of that one right there, and I had not had an issue out of it yet. All right, so let's go ahead and, and um, get started. Fanatics, look, I'm going to, to the, with the higher rate, which is at 4, I think they said 4.5. You see it? 4, and that's 1, 4, and that's 1 half, which is 0.5. So I'm gonna set it at 4.5, and the reason I'm doing that, cause I want to get the maximum kill, guys. I want to get the maximum kill. Uh, plus, I like I said, I got these mosquitoes. Now with those dino traps and this, me and BYD Junior should be having fun. Congrats this summer. Okay, let's go ahead and pour it in to our spreader here. Scott's Turf Builder Edge Guard DLX. Make sure you got your gloves and eye protection on, guys. Let me get on this side so it'll look a little bit prettier when I'm pulling it in there and you see the name of the bag. <laughs> some type of insect control down because you you have mites and stuff like that to be eating your lawn and when you get down on your knees you get real close to it you'll start seeing that um, a lot of people <clears throat> they don't like to treat their lawn but then they ask why why do I have all these insects or why is my grass being chewed up or why do I have all these brown patches from grubs and all this and that because you got to put a form of uh, insecticide down now. Now, if you're going all natural, I can't help you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help you. If all natural insecticides worked as good as they say they do, nobody would be using this poison. It's just that simple. Um, but when you got large properties, you know, you start going 10, 15, 20, 30,000 square feet, you can't afford to get the all natural vinegar and all this and that stuff and spray your yard because they don't work long i'm just gonna be real with you you can go ahead and thumb it down all you want but most of the people that are thumbing it down don't even treat their lawns all natural anyway they just look at videos they get ideas in their head and they'll start thinking that that's how it is but when you actually do it yourself it's a different story now for the one person that is watching it and says oh I i've always done it all natural you Apparently, you have a small yard, and they are manageable. Bravo. 
but for the most of us, you're gonna have to get some type of insecticide, put it down on your yard. Guys, last year I went with that spectricide. I got good results with it, but you know, hey, I like to try new stuff. Can't keep trying the same stuff all the time. You gotta try new stuff and find out what works best for you. All right, guys, if this video has been helpful and you learned something, hit that subscription button. Ding, that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Once again, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. Now, I know some of you are like wondering, BYD, you didn't, you didn't do the smell test, man. Listen, I'm doing the smell test. That's what it looks like, in just in case you didn't know. I'm doing the smell test, guys. Don't do this at home, all right? I'm, I'm taking a hit for y'all guys, but from a distance, I don't smell anything. But when I get up on it, let me, let me, let me do it. Hold on. Okay, to me, it smells like coffee grinds. That's what it smells like. All right, so, so let's get to it. 